Aries, beautiful queens, and handsome kings. Welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot. How's my beautiful queens and handsome kings doing? Subscribers, unsubscribers, and crosswatchers, welcome. Anybody that's got a personal read or donation, I love you. I love you. Yeah, we're going to try some romance individually. You know, I usually, I ain't did that in a long time. I usually be doing them together, but let's see what's going on since retrogrades are good. I'm thinking about maybe I should do, you know, romances once a week. Now, every, these ain't individual, so everybody's story is different, okay? It's saying, give the relationship a try, Aries. Work on your partnership. Yeah, these are, yeah. Could be past, present, or future. Check out. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So, some of y'all need to release and heal from them past bitter bitches and bitter bums. So, you can be happy in this new relationship. Because they want you to give this relationship a trap. I don't know what I just did. I should have just left the shit alone, should I? Give it a chance, honey. Look. Ain't, ain't that what she told Eddie Murphy on that tree? Yeah. Very soon it's upside down, though. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you. So somebody is not deciding what they want because they still hurt from the past relationships. You should have healed before you came in this relationship then. Yeah, I said it out loud. I'm unique. I'm unique. I don't hold no punches. Yeah. I don't, my bills don't get paid and I can't eat off your feelings. Vice versa. You know, you can't eat off my feelings. You, we all got opinions. You might not like it. That's okay. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. So, some of them might be, not be, all of y'all ain't healed. Some of y'all might just be focused on your relationship. I mean, on your finances. But why would you start a relationship? If you're still focused on your finances right now. You can just be friends. But it's not giving you give work on this partnership. So whoever's in the partnership, the truth is, go ahead and try it out. It's saying give the relationship a chance. These are for people, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But somebody feels like somebody's a trickster or a manipulator. Or you trying to manipulate yourself out of believing that this relationship can be real because you still need to forgive and learn. Now, it could be any of those stories. Don't be Cinderella's stepsister. Putting your foot in a shoe that don't fit. It's not gonna work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody feel like yeah, somebody feel like there's too many secrets and illusions. High priestess upside down. But maybe the secret is that you still got some past you need to hit. Or it could be them too. Maybe they not giving it as, yeah. yeah. I'm confused as fuck. That last relationship, somebody was rigid and training. Emperor upside down. That last relationship, and it could have been male or female. I also hear somebody has daddy issues. And that could be male or female. That's why it's hard for them to give relationships a chance. They got daddy issues. And they just be all talk. And they be manipulating and deceptive in relationships. So this person y'all messing with probably got might have daddy issues. Yeah. But it's time for you to forgive and learn. It's time for you to, as you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Look, you a rising phoenix. The world tried to drown you, but it couldn't. You came up out of that motherfucking water. You came out of that motherfucking well. They didn't put enough cement. And they didn't let the cement dry before they put it in the water and it, it, it seeped on up. It seeped on up.
You a rising phoenix. You plant the seeds to grow. It's time for you to heal. Move on. You do deserve love. It's time for you to have balance in your life again. Temperance. The angel said, call out to them. They ready to give you balance. Time for you to have control and passion again. It's all right for you to wear your heart on your sleeves. King up some Yeah. But somebody still got some insecurities. Maybe you got insecurities because this person has a jealousy problem. But somebody, Queen of Wands upside down, still has some insecurities right now. Somebody. And they don't know what the truth is. Whether it's you or them. Somebody doesn't want to see the truth in that they got some insecurities and jealousy problems. And it could be either one. It could be both. But if you need to still um, heal from the past and do forgiving and learning, yeah, that's insecurity problems in case you didn't know. If this reading ain't for you, it just ain't for you. Don't say that's not me. Because you just talk to yourself. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. I, but it's upside down. You a leader. You see the big picture of things. King of Wands. Remember, you are a king and a queen. You are a leader. You are a leader. It is okay for you to start something new and give a relationship a chance to treasure memories with a new person now. Yes, it is. You can make this person, you can have, start making things, you know, you start having memories and happiness with this person so you can treasure the memories with this new person. But it's up to you whether you want to or not. I want to remind you that you're a king and queen. You're a leader. I want to remind you that you are a rising phoenix. I want to remind you that it's time for you to put a depth to the past, close the door, and move on to new beginnings. It's time. I'm not saying make them your husband and wife. I ain't even saying make them your boyfriend or girlfriend. I'm saying give it a chance. Give it a chance. Spirit telling you to give it a chance too. Spirit saying, it's time for you to work hard, not only on your goals, yourself, but it's time for you to work hard in this partnership. Yeah. Yeah. Quit trying to avoid a tower that ain't even gave me here yet. How are you trying to avoid a tower? You ain't even gave the relationship a chance. You trying to avoid the tower that, come on now. You feel like not giving this relationship a chance. You avoiding the tower? If that ain't the biggest disaster, somebody's going to be hurt by letting this person go. Avoiding the tower is bad. Avoiding the tower means you do stuff on purposely to push this person away. So when this person goes away, then you're going to be missing them. And the universe sent this person to you. You called in this person. Overflowing the love. Use your intuition. I did not say, oh, Unique didn't say jump in a relationship and make this person your everything. I'm saying get to know this person. Because nine times out of ten, they might be your everything. Then again, they might not be. But you're not even giving it a chance. It's time for you to know that whoever hurt you in the past, she was innocent in the situation. And it's time for you to take a leap of faith. And try new things. Because the universe sent this to you. Because you asked for it. Yeah. Yeah. Some This person is part of, supposed to be part of your legacy. Or y'all going to blend families together. But finances and careers. If there's issues with your money, this person's money can help your money be better. Give it a leap of faith. You're looking at all the conflict of what could happen. That's inner conflict. Or it could be vice versa. 
You might be going through this with this person and not figure, don't know why this person ain't giving the relationship a chance. I'm telling you why. They got inner conflict for passion. Yeah, seven of cups. They're in confusion. They're in confusion right now. I'm not even going to, they're in confusion. And maybe there is multiple options. Or maybe you got multiple options. But quit confusing yourself. Quit confusing yourself because you fear change. And I think somebody just avoiding this. Is it seven, eight of cups upside down? Somebody just uh, trying to avoid this relationship. Because they got a fear of changing. They got a fear of loss. Yeah. Yeah. And somebody's aggressive from the past. It's breaking their willpower to move on in this relationship. Like, subscribe, comment to next time. Cause I, I, I done got mad. Look, somebody needs to get rid of their fear of loss. But it's up to you whether you want to do or not. It's saying get it's saying give this relationship a, a chance. But you ain't until you get rid of this fear and loss, until you forgive and learn from the past, you're not gonna be able to be happy or vice versa. It's the person you messing with. But you are a leader. And the universe is telling you they need you to remember you're a leader and see the big picture. And remember you was innocent from the past. And take a leap of faith. You can't quit calling in stuff you ain't ready for if you ain't ready for it. Like, subscribe, comment to the next time.